Hey all, Alex here at your home of the Music Deep Dive, and today it is time for a review of the 2003 biography by R. Larry Todd, Mendelssohn, A Life in Music. Uh, talking about R. Larry Todd first, uh, currently, uh, I believe, still a music professor over at Duke University, uh, studied at Yale University, got his doctorate there back in 1979. Uh, Todd has written a number of works on the life of the man we're talking about here, Mendelssohn. He's considered by many to be one of the definitive 20th, early 21st century scholars on him, so no surprise that it is his biography here that is considered kind of the definitive work to come out about Mendelssohn, certainly in the last maybe 50 to 100 years or so. Now, talking about Felix Mendelssohn, uh, Mendelssohn is one of really kind of this influx of composers um, that really start to come to prominence in the early part of the 19th century, kind of after the death of people like Beethoven and Schubert. You have this wave of composers who gain popularity to kind of fill that void. I understand that might be a little bit unfair, but it really does feel like a wave with your Mendelssohn's, your uh, Berlioz's, your Schumann's, your Chopin's, etc., etc. And Mendelssohn's an interesting character. German composer, sort of emerged initially as a child prodigy. He and his older sister Fanny were like the early 19th century equivalent of the Mozart siblings, uh, Constance and Wolfgang. Uh, after that kind of prodigy phase and gaining the support of German intellectuals like Goethe, uh, he gained massive respect in part for uh, secular and sacred works alike, including these revival performances of oratorios by Handel and most famously Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, bringing back the St. Matthew Passion after years of obscurity. Uh, Mendelssohn was a very prominent orchestra director during much of his life. Later in life, he also uh, wrote some other pieces, including some pretty popular symphonies towards the end. Um, on a personal level, Mendelssohn was very much a workaholic who dealt with kind of chronic health issues all his life, which led in part to his death uh, just in his late 30s. And Mendelssohn overall is kind of, you get that sense based off this portrait that Mendelssohn is a bit of a complicated figure. And Todd recognizes this. Um, there has been a prevailing image throughout the years that really dates back to Mendelssohn's own lifetime where he is viewed as this kind of sunny, um, naive even figure, um, an association that maybe still lingered with him from his days when he was like the young lad on the scene, both as an actual adolescent and then later as a genuine young composer after the St. Matthew Passion premiere. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, uh, he was a very temperamental man. And while Todd, I think, admires him on some level um, in the way that someone who studies someone for decades and decades does, I don't think it ever strides into hero worship or anything like that. And I think the portrayal of Mendelssohn is very even-handed here. One of the most even-handed aspects of this book, and one that I was not really expecting going in, is that Fanny Mendelssohn, uh, Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel, after she married, gets a lot of attention. Uh, Fanny is a name who we will unpack more later on because Todd actually wrote a biography of her some years after the Mendelssohn biography came out, and that'll be the next book that I review on this channel. So I, I won't get too much into the weeds on Fanny, but she is, for being one of the most popular female composers of the 19th century, one of the most well-known ones, at least today, um, she definitely got short shrift uh, during her lifetime. And a decent chunk of that was due to Felix and was due to his own actions, his maybe encouraging her compositions, but not encouraging her to publish them. And Todd does a really fascinating thing by having Fanny's story kind of ghost Felix's throughout. Like he, he will constantly check in on what Fanny has been doing, what Fanny is working on, uh, her compositions, and maybe how Felix interacted with them. 
And I, I love that framing. I really love that framing. It is so respectful, I think. Um, and it is additionally respectful when you get, you see that like she got her own space afterwards. She got her own book to expand on this story. Um, I do think that for all the negatives that there were with, within their relationship, uh, the two of them were very dependent on each other in a lot of ways. They really built each other up. Um, and it's no surprise that they passed away within the same year. Um, when you kind of look at it through that lens, um, there's a, there's a tragedy in that. And yeah, I think that is handled super respectfully. I also really love how Todd handles the musical analyses cause he does not shy away from them. Um, and they're very effective but they don't bog down the narrative. And I think it's interesting because Todd actually goes the extra mile of including sheet music excerpts with a lot of his analyses, which some biographers, it's interesting to kind of compare how they're uh, treated. Some biographers will refrain from using sheet music hardly at all. Some will use it very sparingly and some will use it frequently. And if you use it frequently, it, it becomes reasonably easy to just have it kind of interrupt the narrative because you have these walls of text that are uh, interrupted by this like wall of sheet music. Uh, but Todd really doesn't do this. Um, it's the excerpts that he uses are very small. He kind of limits his analyses to like a paragraph, maybe two for the most part, and then moves on to continue the story. And I think this makes a book that is reasonably long, a little over 500 pages of text, um, flow really well. It flows ex excellently. And to that end, you know, I think even the individual among us who is not an enormous Felix Mendelssohn fan will still get a, a reasonable bit of enjoyment out of this. As far as like hardcore, in-depth um, academic biographies of composers. This is one of the most accessible ones that I've read so far. And I would say to anyone who is curious about Mendelssohn, his life and his work, this is a fantastic starting point. You probably are not going to find a better starting point than this. It is an engaging read. It is a very respectful read. And I'm really excited to read, uh, Todd's work on, uh, Fanny to see how he expands upon the story there. So Great stuff. Nothing but good things to say about it. Check it out. And with that, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Tell a friend as well. Thanks a lot. I will see you next time right here at your home of the Music Deep Dive.